Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to Blender Encyclopedia. Today we are going to look at the transformation constraint. Okay, so if you go to constraint, you will find it here. So the transformation constraint lets you uh, manipulate one object when the other object is manipulated. So if I want, I want this wheel to rotate when it moves. All right. So I will create a controller that will move, which will make this uh, wheel rotate. So I'm going to add an empty. I'll use single arrow and scale it big. So that's my controller. I will name this object wheel and I will rename this to wheel control. All right, so when our wheel control moves in Y, the wheel rotates in X. All right, so I'll select the wheel and add our transformation controller constraint and it is asking for a target so our target is the wheel control and we want the wheel to move in y so let's say one so when the wheel moves one uh, we want the rotation of our rotation of our wheel which is the x rotation has to be controlled by the y value of this and we want to rotate it 360 all right so when i move this one in y so i'll simply move it one in y okay you can see that it rotates the wheel 360 okay now if it is negative y nothing happens and it goes beyond one nothing happens so we'll select this wheel and we'll say extrapolate and now when I select the arrow and move it, now this continuously keeps moving. Now we want the wheel to move with the arrows. I'll select the wheel, shift select the arrow and go to control P and I'll parent it. So when the wheel is moved, this is rotated. Now to get the exact rotation, uh, we need to uh, find the circumference of our wheel. So my wheel is 2.04. I'll go to calculator and type in 2.04 and I'll multiply it by 3.14 that is the value of pi. The formula for the circumference is 2 pi r or pi d. Our diameter is 2.04 multiplied by 3.14 and we get 6.14. 4056. So whatever that number is comes here. Alright, and then when I move this, not this, this, now it is going to rotate exactly. But it is rotating in the negative direction. So what I will do is I will just type a negative value here. And when the wheel moves, it's going to rotate. Okay, so that's how the transformation controller works. So now we have a connection between the controller and the wheel itself. That's it. Thank you very much.